making notes, bookmarking ideas in your textbook, leaving reminders for your best friend on a note, writing important calendar events on your study table. What is the most common and attractive way to do these things? Take a bright and colorful sticky note and post it, right? But why use a post-it note when you have a simple paper? Post-its have a sticky glue that helps the piece of paper to stay put so that you don't miss the important stuff. Plus, you can always make color-coded notes with bright and playful colors. Post-its have been the most remarkable invention in the history of office and school stationery. From reminders to bookmarks and from planning workflows and processes, post-its come in handy everywhere. But do you know how this simple but awesome invention was born? No? No problem. Let's meet Arthur Fry, the man who invented the concept of post-it. Arthur Fry was a singer at the night choir of a Minnesota church. He always used paper bits to remember the important chords for his choir performance. But these paper pieces would fall off before his performances at the church. One day, even without looking for it, Arthur found the solution to this problem. He was attending a seminar by Spencer Silver, a scientist at 3M. Silver had created a unique low-tack adhesive. This invention of Silver was an accident. He was originally trying to create adhesives for aerospace to hold strong objects together, but he failed and thus ended up with a low-tack glue. Although this glue was weak, it was strong enough to cling onto objects to allow a temporary bond. One could even reuse it multiple times. When Arthur found out that Silver was still searching for a marketable use for his accidental invention, he got an amazing idea. He requested Silver for a sample of this adhesive to try it on the paper bits for his church choir notebook. And voila, it worked really well. The paper bits stayed put in the book without falling off. At first, it was church choir notebooks. Later, it was Arthur's office documents. The glue was working. Silver's brand new adhesive could be coated on paper. This paper could hold itself on any surface without damaging it. The idea was taken to 3M, who marketed to the world. All they needed was a name for this unique product. They called it Press and Peel. But the name did not stick well with the users. Hence, the company renamed it as Post-It. They gave free samples to every office in Boise, Idaho. And astoundingly, 90% of all the offices placed an order for the Post-Its. Moreover, the Post-It notes would sell themselves. How? Well, if a user marked his document with post-it and shared it with other users, they would find the notes amusing yet very helpful in organizing. Hence, they would place an order for their own post-it. Now, have you ever wondered why post-it notes are mainly yellow in color? Well, there is a fun fact behind this. When the makers were producing the first batch, they found low-cost yellow paper in abundance in a nearby factory. Hence, they created the first batch of post-it with this yellow paper, which later became their identity, and they stuck with it. 3M now produces over 50 billion of these yellow sticky notes every year. That's a huge number, isn't it? Besides, this Fry Silver Doer's innovation has given birth to many more such inventions. For example, big sticky pads are a notepad version of post-it. Super sticky notes, which have a stronger glue that sticks better to vertical and non-smooth surfaces. So did you notice how a super failed product elsewhere gave birth to an amazingly powerful idea and ultimately led to a revolutionary product? Can you think of any such product or idea which has a super use in some other way?
If yes, then you are on a similar journey as Mr. Arthur Fries. Now, what do we learn from this posted story? Yes, we have to learn from failures and make them work. Write this on a post-it and stick it in your mind, but permanently. Are there other interesting things you know about post-it? Do tell us in the comment section below. And don't forget to visit the Empower website to learn more about entrepreneurship. Happy learning!